Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am with 5,000 gold. As you can see, I'm only level two and at the beginning of the game in Druid's Grove. If it is glitch, bug, or technique, I don't know what to call this, you can have infinite money in Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go ahead and create a new game. I'm gonna create a new character. I'm gonna create a rogue for uh, stealing purposes, but if you don't want to play a, a, a rogue, a thief, you can play whatever class you want and you can use a Sturbion for, let me say, uh, our technique to create infinity money. For obvious reasons, I'm gonna get anything I can for slight hands. Of course, we're gonna need it to steal easier. For stats, pick anything you want, of course, you should leave max dexterity. For skills, we should pick slides of hand and stealth, of course. We're gonna focus every point, every stats on stealing to make this guide easier. We are done on creating our charter. You can pick anything you want from here. Let's start the game. And now our folks here are gonna get two items that is gonna increase our slide of hand. I don't focus here in any companion, you can get any companion you want, it does change anything about the technique that we're gonna use, okay? So the first item that's gonna help us, we can find easily at the door of Druid Grove. Damn it! I hate Gale! When you reach the door of Druid Grove, it's gonna start a fight. That's a very easy fight, and we're gonna match Will. And one of the goblins, we're gonna have a gloves that increase plus one your light of hand. We don't need to enter Druid Grove now. We're gonna get another item. Move to west until you find a bridge with many corpses, and you're gonna need to pick that scroll. That scroll of either fall will help us to reach our second item. Following the road, we're gonna find the Blighted Village, a village dominated by gobs. We are under level for this area, so we don't want to fight here because we are under level, we don't have the items, we only want the items. So we're gonna need to pass the persuasion test or use our elite power. marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Oh, easy game. Oh, go on then. Inside the village, head north to find a broken stone bridge. Now it's time to use the scroll of feeder fall that we get earlier. So use it. Now you can jump down near the river without taking damage, without dying, of course. And we can get the second item. Now think with me. Where are we gonna find the best ring for thieves in this game? Uh, in the hands of the biggest thief in the world? No, of course not. You're gonna find it in the floor. Oh, I missed out this item in my first playthrough, and I know that Larian Studios don't want you to have this item. Now you are ready to get infinite money in Baldur's Gate 3. Head back to Druid's Grove, and we're gonna fight our target, the first shop in the game. We need to talk with the Stephen and send them out of here. With the here, it's more difficult to steal the shopkeeper. Thank you, Rose. Now talk to the shopkeeper and split his gold. This technique will make it easier to steal the money. With this technique, you can steal any goals in the entire game easily, with 100% chance. Now pick your rogue, pick your chief and start to steal in the gold. As you can see, you need to roll minus one. That means you have 100% chance of still that gold. As you can see, I have a amount of gold that you need to roll zero in the dice to miss. 
so it makes it very easy to steal and you can steal the entire money, entire gold of the shopkeeper easily. When you finish stealing, now you have to run away from the vendor. It's just a few steps, then you can go to your camp and rest. When you rest in the camp and come back, the gold will respawn and you can steal again and just do it many times you want. It's infinite gold in Baldur's Gate 3 at the start of the game. Do it. How many times do you want? You don't need to spend any supplies to rest. Just click and post your rest. You don't spend any supplies. The vendor will respawn the gold and you can steal again and again and again. And this is it. You can steal him how many times you want, just still go to camp rest, still go to camp rest. You can repeat this process many times you want and you don't have any consequence if you do right now this part of the game. You don't have any questions, you don't need to rush, you can do this how many times you want. As you can see, I did it 5000 gold with this method early game. So this is it guys, have fun playing. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.